the other thing that happened recently, uh, not recently, I should say maybe a month or so ago, you went to Raw. Uh, it was it was going on. I actually talked to Dan Lambert uh, when he was in Calgary, uh, you know, there for some of the ATT guys. And obviously you got a good uh, chance going there. How was that whole experience getting to see Raw backstage? Oh, Raw was an eye opener, man. It, it was an unbelievable experience, you know, being able to go backstage and see all the pro wrestlers, you know, get to hang out with Kurt Angle, you know, my good friend Bobby Lashley from American Top Team, uh, me and Dan Lambert and John Hartnett, we got to, you know, we got to see it all. We hung out with Ronda Rousey. We got to share a good moment with her for 20, 30 minutes, just talking, sharing stories about fights and stuff. So it, it was a cool opportunity. You know, I got to talk to Paul Heyman. He was running me through some stuff and, you know, everybody's just stand up people there and, and the pro wrestling world, they really uh, respect the MMA world. So, you know, I, the thing is, is I'm doing pro wrestling better than the pro wrestlers are doing. So <laughs> uh, it was a great moment. You know, we sh we got to see all those guys and, and see what the future holds, because that's what I feel like the future holds for me. I'm going to go over there and be a WWE champion. What's up, Vince McMahon? Yeah, is there is there any progress on that? You talked about that last time, about there has been talks. Uh, was there any further conversations with Vince when you were there? Yeah, there, you know, I, I know Dan Lambert, my manager, is, is in talks. You know, I let him do that. I just focus on training and getting better in all aspects of my life and, and wrestling and, and fighting and, and as a person. So, you know, I, I leave that up to my agent, Dan Lambert. And, you know, I know he's talking to him. But, but first things first, you know, I'm still competitively hungry and, and I still have the itch to defend what's mine. That's this belt. So, you know, I got to go out there and defend this belt against the number one contender, Tyquil Woodley. And, and then we'll, we'll talk about uh, WWE after that. Uh, just one more thing. You mentioned talking to Ronda Rousey. Anything specific you guys talked about, uh, you know, backstage? Uh, you mentioned swapping fight stories. Anything cool that came out of that? Uh, you know, she was uh, she was just telling us, you know, about her, you know, about all the promotion that led up to her fights and, and uh, you know, how she wanted to sell the fights and this and that. But she's a really humble person. You know, I know she gets a lot of slack from the media, you know, for all her, her antics and the way she promoted fights. And she was always that girl that was in the girl's face and, Everybody says she's a snob, but she's actually a really humble person. You know, she gives back a lot of her time. She donates a lot, and, and she's just a good person, you know. She was telling us some funny stories about, like, Twizzlers, how, you know, Twizzlers is one of her sponsors, and, and, you know, just how she gives away Twizzlers to a lot of kids. So, you know, she's just a good person, you know, and, and she's one of the biggest names in the WWE now, so I'm excited for her success and wish her nothing but continued success.